All right, today I'm going to be making ramen noodles with white wine and hot dog meat. Absolute goodness. This is one of my favorite recipes on the bougier side of ramen noodles, but yet it is still down to earth good. Absolute goodness. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up my ramen noodles and I'm going to cook them in this pot of water that's behind the pan right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the noodles. All right, and I'm going to pull out the seasoning packet. And I'm going to place this, this to the side because this is going to come in handy a little bit later when I'm cooking the white wine uh, and hot dog meat. Absolute goodness. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place this inside of the pan or the pot back here. And I'm just going to get this boiling. It should take a few minutes for that to cook. And meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and cut up the hot dog meat. I'm going to cut up the hot dog meat and prepare that for to be cooked with the wine sauce. Alright, so just going to get my knife over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn the pan on. I'm going to go ahead and slice up the hot dog meat just like this. You might want to do it in like a, a, a slanted style that gives a little bit more appeal to it. All right. And then once you have the, the, the hot dog meat in there, you're going to want to add a little bit of oil. So I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and just put it in here. Perfect. And while that's going on, I'm just going to go ahead and check up on the ramen noodles back here on the back burner. I'm going to go ahead and flip the block, just like that, and then open it up like that. Absolute goodness. All right, so this is heating up. I'm going to want to get a spatula of some sort, or maybe a spoon, and just simply stir this around, because you, you want this to toast a little bit, but you don't want it to burn. So you're going to put that in there. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a little bit more flavor to it. I'm going to add a little bit of onions and garlic to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of onions to it for flavoring. Just like this. And then I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. I'm going to take some garlic and just shred some garlic in there. This is going to add a little bit of flavor. I'm going to do half of it like this because I like the toasted garlic flavor as well as the raw garlic flavor. So I'm not going to use the entire thing. I'm just going to use half of it. Get this going in here. Mix that up. You see how it's like toasting? I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see this. Zoom in a little bit closer so you can see it toasting. All right, so I'm gonna put that in there. Zoom out a little bit. And so you can see it toasting. You see it toasting on all sides like that? Absolutely. All right, so this is gonna toast a little bit. I'm going to toast just nicely. The garlic is toasting. The hot dog meat is toasting. And I'm back here. The ramen noodles should be almost done. I'm going to turn off the hot dog meat. And I'm going to take the ramen noodles. And I'm going to strain the ramen noodles while the hot dog meat is still toasting. The pan is still warm. All right. And I'm going to let the ramen noodles strain. Well, that's going on. I'm going to add a little bit of white wine right here. I have sh Chardonnay white wine right here. I'm going to add it to the pan. Make sure the oil is not too hot because it will splatterate back at you. So I'm going to add a little bit of Chardonnay to this pan. All right. While that's in there, I'm going to take the chicken flavor back, remember that? And I'm just going to add this to it. And I'm going to turn the pan back on to like a low heat. 
And I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. I want the flavor to get into the hot dog meat. Now you don't have to use all of the flavor of the creation pack. Uh, you can use like a quarter of it if you want less sodium. You can use just a little bit of it. Just add a little bit of that. Maybe a little bit more wine. And then I'm going to stir this a little bit more. Turn the flame up a little bit higher. Just like that. And then I'm going to add the noodles that I strained to the pot. Now once you get the noodles into the back of the pan, you don't want to quickly separate them so that the wine sauce can be absorbed by the noodles. The hot dog meat has already absorbed a lot of the flavor. Now you want the noodles to absorb some of that too. So you get this in here, you heat it up just a little bit. You don't need to refry the ramen noodles. You just need to let it be warm a little bit. And that is how you make ramen noodles with white wine and hot dog meat. Look at it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. Look at that. Look at it. Can you come up to the screen? Smell the hot dog meat. Smell the Raymond noodles. Smell the green onion. As a matter of fact, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more green onion on here. Smell the green onion. Smell the Raymond noodles. Absolute goodness, if you ask me. Absolute goodness.